was Muhammad Sharaf with you. Um, uh, single fillet geothermal power plant. It's um, this is our uh, main topic today. Um, actually, this model is for only power generation. Uh, desalination systems uh, are not included. Uh, first of all, you have to specify after downloading your folder. You have to go to your destination folder, working folder from here. Don't run open. Don't open your model from. Uh, your main folder or double clicking on on it from the, your folder you have to open MATLAB first and and then you specify your distinct folder of uh, your model and you will find your model here try to uh, sort your model from here you can check from here sort your model by name and group by type in order to organize everything and this model is SLX, you have to double click. Okay, um, be sure that you have uh, all of these things are already checked and model browser. Okay, now we are ready to run our model. Uh, this is this model is for uh, geothermal power plant, it's just for uh, solar, uh, no, not for uh, desalination or solar energy parts. It's completely geothermal by the use of a uh, flash tank. Uh, it's supposed to use uh, uh, water from inside the well, hot water from inside the well, go through the flash evaporation tank, flash cyclone, and then the flash cyclone will generate steam for the turbine unit. A turbine node will generate power via generator and the rest of steam should be condensed via uh, condenser in, in such matter I, I, I will commit to use uh, two surface uh, two passes uh, surface condenser okay and the cooling water should be cooled by uh, mechanical draft cooling tower and the rest of cooling you can use for heat or for re-injection again to, to the geothermal uh, wheel. Okay, it's a design model, so you have to uh, assign your power. What is your target is, is your power, so uh, you have to assign your power. And um, the flow rate and um, design aspects should be uh, uh, withdrawn okay let's go here clicking here is your thermal power plant single flash power plant type okay your model should be appear like this we have a uh, thermal wheel pumping unit pumping system and we have flash cyclone turbine unit uh, two buses surface condenser uh, mechanical drift cooling tower Actually, I used uh, the 780 ton uh, per hour uh, unit. Uh, this is one unit, and we have there is some gases, so we have to uh, we have to su su make some kind of suction for the gases through the condenser via multi-stage uh, separating gas compressor, and we have the main grid power, so we can assign our power. You can assign our power from this uh, slider. Okay, you can slide out your uh, your power. Suppose I need. Uh, let's go here. First of all, if you would like to sim to run your simulator via a single point, you have to assign your simulation time into zero. Okay and uh, don't forget to uh, click on any stream you would like to inspect you have to click on it or double clicking and send signal stream to uh, data inspector or you can click on it to highlight your signal and go here and stream select the signal to data inspector you have be sure that any signal you would like to inspect has uh, is this small square uh, shape okay um, 
you can explore your uh, uh, your units let's go for geothermal well first of all you can uh, double clicking on each of uh, of these blocks and you can assign your inputs let's go first for geothermal well what we have here we have for example let's uh, control plus emphasize a little bit and you can choose your uh, by steam pipe diameter in inch and uh, soil type uh, you you can uh, add uh, many types of your soil uh, this is just example for us standards or your standards or arabian gulf standards it's up to you you can add whatever you'd like let's go for for example of uh, your standards with apply okay let's go for for bumping unit we just need to assign our efficiency i will set myself at 75 okay and uh, let's go for uh, flashing for flashing cyclone you can assign uh, a turbine pressure condenser pressure uh, this is our uh, these are the limits of your uh, uh, cycle top, uh, top top pressure and the bottoming uh, pressure let's go for uh, i see it's point oh uh, z point oh six okay I'll hit apply and steam velocity you can assign your steam velocity and this parameter will affect on the design of flash cyclone uh, actually it's up to you and uh, turbine pressure what is your uh, turbine pressure suppose it's uh, let's begin from uh, nine bars hit apply okay hit apply and okay for turbine unit the, our, uh, for we can assign turbine efficiency and generator efficiency efficiency okay we don't need more than this for uh, condenser uh, what is your effectiveness i think 80% uh, effectiveness quite normal tube outside diameter of the, your surface condenser for um, a cooling tower you can assign many many parameters what is your elite air temperature suppose it's around 20 degrees Celsius okay and uh, the tube design uh, elite water uh, through the tube it's around 10 centimeters uh, mass flow rate I, I will I will go for maximum mass flow rate for a cooling tower maximum load okay and uh, performance what is your effectiveness I think I think performance of such kind of things uh, it's around or range between uh, 0 0.4 0 0.6 something like this uh, you can change this dynamically if you would like. Okay, and for a uh, gas compressor, uh, gas compressor is a um, uh, little bit complicated, but you can uh, uh, you can control uh, what is your input temperature. Suppose it's 20 degrees Celsius uh, in tick pressure, uh, one bar. Okay, it's okay, and uh, I, I will keep it at. Uh, or three two environmental pressure and uh, what is your uh, deliverable pressure okay uh, just an example I suppose it's 64 bars okay atmospheric pressure our reference keep it at 20 atmospheric pressure your gases we have 12 gases okay surely we we need uh, air okay in our case gas flow percentage i think gas flow percentage is it's around um, from uh, three percent up to six 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 percent of, of gases through the condenser 
and your stroke lens you can design your stroke lens whatever you would like uh, the running speed um, let's go for 300 rpm and number of stages uh, it's up to you four stages three stages let's go for you have to enter this value as a matrix you can enter this value as a matrix so it's from one up to three stages mechanical efficiency uh, 0.95 as i think and hit apply now we adjusted our model let's go for uh, cost analysis if you'd like interest rate five percent load factor 90 plant lifetime 25 years and you similar uh, direct capital cost it's around uh, from 900 up to 1500 uh, US dollar per kilowatt uh, okay that's it okay and saving your model I, I'm going for you can uh, emphasize here I'm going for for example uh, let's go for uh, uh, 5 mega 5 megawatts I, I'm just I would like to discover uh, based on 5 megawatts let's hit run and see saving uh, but before running we, uh, I have to told you that this is specifying your uh, uh, load by 5 megawatt so the turbine unit will generate 5 megawatt plus power of uh, the pump power of the fan power in mechanical draft cooling towers the power of uh, the condenser all of these type of types of, uh, of powers should be recovered by the gas turbine so the actual uh, the actual power needed from the turbine it is not five megawatts it's five plus okay that's saving and hit run and see uh, discovering uh, unit by unit and see uh, our results okay a simulation time we are waiting okay it's finished uh, so from outside you can discover uh, st this is your steep flow rate and uh, salvi from the by unit and this is the buying cooling uh, this is power of the fan from the cooling tower and this is compressor power uh, okay this is total power 5 mega plus 600 kilowatts but you, you we, we just need 5 kilo uh, f i'm sorry f uh, 5 mega and this is the consumption power it's around 674 kilowatts of power as you can see here this is uh, five around uh, okay this is five megawatts plus as you can see here is this is uh, inspector let's go inside unity by unit and see our uh, okay for five megawatts we need one injection well and one uh, suction well this is your well depth it's around uh, 10, uh, 10 uh, kilometers for 300 for 314 uh, will temperature you will dig uh, based on your standard you will dig for uh, 10 kilo uh, 10 uh, kilometers this is will depth in feet uh, digging hole diameter in inch uh, digging uh, pipe casing just similar pressure will hit pressure uh, pressure through uh, the pipes pressure losses through the pipes silica concentration and sodium potassium uh, ratio okay let's go for the pumping we need f uh, 500 kilo uh, kilowatts of, of power from the pump okay based on pressure losses and temperatures and let's go for flash cyclones i mean uh, the prime mover okay for flash cyclone we have a uh, condensation temperatures around 36 uh, inlet 
the turbine temperature is around 175 and for 175 we need um, 300 degrees Celsius from the geothermal well okay and we can discover our uh, enthalpy uh, some physical properties enthalpy pressures uh, temperature and so on okay and the pressure of the well and uh, saturation pressure and uh, enthalpy for the tank uh, you can discover some design elements flash tank volume okay uh, total mass flow rate as you can see here total mass flow rate it's around for five mega it's around 28 this is your total mass flow rate the water uh, content in in, in this uh, in this uh, mass flow rate is around 18 uh, kilograms per second this is the bottom of the tank of the flash tank uh, this amount should be uh, uh, rebounded again or uh, through the condenser unit okay and we have dryness fractures around 33 okay uh, diameter of the tank width of the tank height of the tank volume and so on for turbine unit we need uh, we'll generate around as as we demonstrated before we need 5 megawatt plus 600 the entalpy entropy steam this is your steam mass for it it's 9.5 kilogram per second and this is your dryness fraction this is outlet condition uh, so the turbine units around 0.84 uh, dryness fraction for two buses surface condenser this is your area this is your condenser tube lens okay and um, uh, in solve of cooling water out uh, cooling outlet outlet uh, water temperature it's around 34 outlet okay i have to move this one okay 34 outlet cooling temperature okay and condenser flow rate condenser energy heat transfer overall number of tubes okay and any cooling water temperature coming from the uh, cooling tower it's around 27 27 okay and uh, this is steam mass flow rate so the condenser for cooling tower uh, you will find out we need just two units of this for five megawatts tube diameter uh, tower diameter tower height tower pressure uh, fan power it's it's uh, uh, 22 multiplied by two because we need uh, two units tower weight uh, outlet water uh, temperature for the cooling uh, wet bulb temperature uh, uh, outlet air temperature cooling tower approach you can show surely the control approach by changing your effectiveness of your cooling tower cooling tower range heat loss by water heat gain by air make a water condense condensate flow velocity blow down losses and uh, air, air for mass flow rate okay so y you have many many parameters to, to discover uh, okay, in some of the air, humidity, something. Okay, for reciprocating air compressor, you can choose or select between uh, double acting, okay, double acting or single acting. Okay, off means uh, single acting, on means double acting. Okay, this is your acting type. And for compressor, we need for three stages. This is your uh, uh, top cycle temperature, pressure ratio. Okay, this is your pressure ratio. And uh, this is uh, a stage pressure, stage one and two and three. Okay, as you can see here. And uh, we have here total compressor power, uh, brake power, uh, stage power, 
losses to the ambient environment, losses to the intercooler, um, uh, free air, this is air, I'm sorry, this is free air delivery volume, and the soup volume, uh, okay, and cylinder diameter, and thermal efficiency. Sure, you can uh, uh, block by block. You can double click on uh, any block you would like, and you can reform your block based on your uh, design or based on your recommendations. This is a mass flow rate. Okay, let's go for cost analysis for geothermal uh, operating and maintenance cost. It's around uh, 45 uh, US dollar per hour. Uh, turbine uh, cost is around 25 uh, US dollar per hour, condenser costs, bombing costs, a compressor, and uh, this is your total plant cost per hour. And total plant uh, cost, it will cost you this amount, uh, annual costs. And this is your cost per uh, total power price. This is your total power price. You can go here, click on this, highlight all signal and click here and select stream, uh, selected signal to data inspector. So I prepared my model for uh, to run dynamically. Okay, to run dynamically and see the effect uh, uh, of any parameter on your cycle, you have to go here and set your submission time into infinity. Okay, saving. Let's begin from uh, changing the power. I will run in infinity time and see uh, the effect of the change of power uh, required. Okay, let's hit run and see. Okay, I will increase the power as you can see here. I'm moving uh, the power slightly increasing okay as you can see you realize the required power increase the production power i'm increasing the power okay up to uh, let's go up to 20 megawatts as you can see here increasing so 20 megawatts let's go for a flash cyclone Okay, I have to uh, double clicking of less cycle. Okay, let's it increase the pressure. I'll increase the pressure up to, for example, uh, 12. Okay, it's 15 bars. Okay, and let's increase the pressure of the condenser or decrease the pressure of the condenser. I suppose I increase it up to uh, point 0.1 okay point 0.1 uh, bolts steam velocity okay and uh, for um, uh, for cooling towers let's increase um, the effectiveness up to uh, 60 60 percent of cooling tower okay so you can uh, you can uh, realize a uh, stop. Let's go here, clicking on data inspector, and see our results from here. You can also discover your results from MATLAB workspace from here. This is your area condenser, the final value, pipe diameter effectiveness, all your uh, results. You will find it uh, stored here. Uh, okay, so you can double click on it okay and you can find out your final value let's go for uh, data inspector and see the effect of our result also if you enter the unit by unit you will find your outputs okay uh, based on your final value reached okay going for data inspector in order to uh, draw some figures okay we can select our a uh, number of outputs suppose I need okay this and let's go inside here 
Okay, we are. Uh, you can run make many runs and you can compare one uh, to many of uh, of your runs on the same figure. Run number one, number run number two, and so on. Let's go for. Uh, uh, this is our uh, cost, uh, hourly costs. Okay, you can change your hourly costs. Uh, cost. Um, this is your total hourly costs total blend price power price you can go here clicking on format and we can change it from uh, this up to let's go for uh, 0 0.1 uh, 1 to 4 okay okay 0 0.124 uh, 1 and see okay this is a, a total blend power uh, price and cooling uh, cooling power this is your fan power compressor power compressor power and fan power of the cooling tower and uh, this is your total load on uh, turbine unit and juice thermal will um, silica concentration number of suction wheels number of injection wheels as you can see here pumping power and uh, this is your wheel temperature because we changed uh, the pressure and flash tank uh, height flash tank width uh, flash tank volume uh, total mass flow rate, this is your total mass flow rate through the cycle and uh, with I have to seek uh, I get, this is flashing dryness reduction it's increased up to uh, 50% because we increase the pressure of the turbine and we have um, well pressure, uh, steam flow, condenser, dryness this condenser for dryness fraction okay condenser dryness fraction is from uh, 0.6 up to uh, 0.8 or we can uh, from 0.8 up to it's around 80 percent okay and we have uh, outlet water temperature with bulb temperature with bulb temperature is here I'm sorry uh, let's go for uh, Blue down losses, uh, evaporator evaporation losses through the cooling tower, A air mass flow rate. This is your air mass flow rate and heat loss. Okay, At tower weight, tower height, flow velocity, make up water, uh, cooling water outlet, outlet uh, cooling water. Okay. Uh, turbine elite tem temperature to the turbine condenser temperature wheel pressure so you have you have many parameters to uh, address and discover and also you can send the two figures you can click here send the two figures in, or in order to deal with your outputs you can deal with uh, your outputs easily by sending them to the figure but I have to wait for for a while because it's a uh, uh, a lot of many figures you have to send them I'm waiting and uh, uh, okay I should I should uh, select uh, you can use cursor uh, you can move your cursor okay send to the, to the figure open click on figure properties and you can control your lines, your captions. You can you can remove some figures, or whatever, because a lot of many there's a lot of figures here. You can change uh, the background. You can change uh, control any figure you would like. Remove uh, the legend from here. Okay. You can control um, your figures if you would like. Anyway, 
uh, you can move your cursor so you you can discover your numbers or your data out on the figure okay that's easy oh, okay uh, okay so we have uh, um, a dynamic model so you can adjust your your uh, model based on your uh, selection let's hit run again trying to decrease and watch let's go inside uh, uh, this is my flash cyclone and let's go inside the flash cyclone and see the effect on on it by changing the, the pressure okay let's hit run and see okay I, I will reduce reduce, uh, reduce the pressure uh, reducing the pressure of the turbine unit will reduce the dryness fraction through the flash tank okay and let's reduce the condenser pressure reducing the condenser, condenser pressure will affect on uh, as you can see tank volume and let's go for 0 0.05 0 0.05 okay that's quite good okay 0 0.05 okay and hit okay uh, okay and we can stop our run okay let's go inside the turbine unit and see okay um you can compare runs now you have uh, the previous run okay this is your previous uh, run results and we can uh you have to wait yeah, okay this is run number three, for example. This is your last run. So you can add your uh, results here. For example, uh, total uh, costs. Let's go for total costs. You can add. This is a previous run, and this is the, uh, the new, the green one is a, uh, uh, the old run, and this is the new run. Total plant, uh, total power plant price. Okay, you can compare for uh, total head power total load power you can compare as you can see here this so you can you have many many options to uh, deal with uh, beside that inspector you but i have to go here first and you have to rename your your stream because i forget to rename this one i have to uh, rename this one okay rename it by double clicking here and uh, okay and turbine unit this is turbine unit control c and double clicking here and control v a condenser highlight all control c for copy and paste it here and let's go for uh, bumping okay uh, compressor i forget to adjust this one Control c and uh, yes and this is my total plant hourly costs okay it's already the total uh, us dollar per hour and annual total costs annual total costs should be named here control v and this is your total power uh, uh, total power price okay uh, so our our model is uh, ready and this is your compressor suppose for compressor let's adjust some outputs um, it take temperature is 15 15 okay uh, the pressure it's around one bar let's go from one uh, and go for here see two minutes and time into zero and hit run okay this is our pressure uh, ratio suppose it's this red light is for single acting 
I I will select double acting and hit run. It will turn it to green. That means uh, okay. This is double acting compressor. This double acting. What is what is the effect on double or single on your break power? It's one seven one in double acting. Let's return back here and make it single. I'm sorry. Just one click. This is now single acting, and what's the power? Single acting will consume less power than double acting. Okay, uh, I'm sorry, it's uh, for uh, total compressor power. Yes, it's the effect on total compressor power, I think. Let's change here. Yes, I think it's uh, the effect. Uh, you can change the double acting from here. Let's emphasize. Okay. You can add a uh, number of acting on your uh, the effect on mass flow rate double acting. Yes. Okay, number of acting. Yes, this parameter will will affect on your free, um, on the volume of, the, of your uh, of your cylinder. So you realize this in here, okay? For single, etc. Yes, it changed. So it changes the design of your cylinder. Okay. Uh, first of all, I would like to uh, thank you very much for your interest in our uh, model. Uh, don't forget to uh, like, share and subscribe.